this web illuminated. Zoom right in. Now. Take a look at him. And this is uh, the back side. And you can see his web. Did a pretty nice job. For some reason, he left the center part about an inch around him. Um, undone. It's like my owner talking. A, a moth tried to pass through his web, so he's kind of a little bit distracted now. He's been repairing this web tonight. Been doing a pretty good job. There he goes. He continues fixing his web now. So just a little different location. Um, another orb weaving spider has just completed his web for the night. Did a beautiful job. Uh, this web together very symmetrical almost caught a moth looks to me like one of the saving features on the moth is that their wings are covered with a powdery substance and when that powder substance on that wing hits the web it can actually um, stick the powder to the web and take off and not get fully stuck on the sticky material of the silk part of the web. This is right here is where that moth just tried to go and you can see it left the uh, powdery substance from its wing around the web as it kind of bounced off of that and flew away. We got our, our orb weaver out here working on completing his web. As you can see they start from the outside edges, they run initially a couple of vertical threads and then run off the pyramid shape down to anchor it. Then they come back and run their threads, their silk threads coming in from the center going to the outside edges. And then they start on the outside and they go all the way around carefully measuring with their feet, their toes, claws, uh, exact measurements, so that it's exact spacing as they center and go all the way around, weaving towards the center of the, uh, the web. You can see this one has the center to complete yet. They have the sides done and he's working on continuing around. The interesting part about how they do this is, uh, with the camera here, we can't get that close to see, but on the tips of their toes, they're little hooked claws. They usually have about three claws on the end of each foot. And they will grab a piece of thread between the claws, measure carefully from the outside edge the last thread laid down, and then begin to move inch by inch around their web until they have it completed. And he is just about completed here with, with his web. And here we have the second orb weaver. He has a little more, more work to do. 
he's got quite a big area to, to complete in his web. Let's see if we can get a picture from the side so you can see the web better. There's a the web lights up a little bit better there, and you can see in the center he's got quite a big black hole there yet that he's working on. And there's that um, area I showed you, or was telling you about. See how he's from the <clears throat> excuse me from the center on out. He's formed the spikes, so to speak, of a wheel, uh, the spokes of a wheel, and now he's going back, measuring carefully from the line that's next to it. As he lays piece by piece, as he pulls the thread from his spinnerets, feels with one leg where the next vertical spoke is, grabs that with one leg, measures carefully with another leg, and then fastens back to the spinneret to the next vertical spoke. Measures carefully again and continues around. And this could go on for a good half hour to an hour as he's working on completing his web. Sammy here is getting pretty close to finishing up his web. You see his eight eyes there. the leg, the tail of his spinneret, pulls out the thread, the back hind leg, and goes on to find the next placement point. See him pull that silk thread out of the spinneret, and then put it in position. Amazing web workers.